Yo, what is going on guys? Time Stopper here, coming back at you with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, in this video, we're talking about speed. More importantly, we're talking about, is there a better speed lead than Arbiter in this game? Now, as you can tell from the thumbnail, yes, I believe there is. I'm going to tell you why I think so and how I kind of found out by accident that maybe this is a strategy that works. So, let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so first and foremost, ever since I released my how to build an arena team video, which I'll leave a link to in the video description down below, I've been getting a lot of comments on there about how I used all these pay to win teams with like Arbiter and Kaimar and all this other stuff, even though if you watch the whole video, I'm talking about how you could use Apothecary or other speed booster type champions as well and just follow the same strategies of boost boost defense down and nuke but i'm here today to tell you that i've been outrun literally twice in the past week by an epic champion now my arbiter is decently fast by most people's standards clearly not as fast as everyone else in the game right so if we look right now my arbiter is running at 377 speed so she does okay, but I went into an arena fight the other day and instantly got outrun by a champion that I didn't even realize was going to outrun me. You know, normally when I walk into a fight, I see a Hegemon or another Arbiter or a Siffy or, you know, whatever. You know, I think there's a chance, so I might bring a Hegemon or whatever, but they had an Arbiter, but the rest of the champions look kind of weak. And in their second spot, they had someone that I use on my 3v3 teams, which is none other than an epic champion, Void, no less, and that is Golden Reaper. Now, I know Golden Reaper is a decent champion. If you look at her set of skills and you check out her A3, she has a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns, and she does a turn meter boost by 20%. So, not a bad set of skills to have overall. As a matter of fact, I'm here to tell you why maybe you should be using her instead of Lissandra in some of your comps when it comes to Arena. You know, one of the more popular comps I see out there will have like Arbiter in lead and then Lissandra in second. They'll have like a defense down and then, you know, they'll have a nuker, Trunda or Foley or whoever they have nuking, right? But you can flip the script and probably get even more speed than you could before if you engineer this just right. Now, the reason that that happens is because let's say I were to take all of my Arbiter gear and throw it onto Golden Reaper. Now, I don't have this done right now, but if I were to take all of my Arbiter gear and put it on Golden Reaper, Golden Reaper is going to automatically be faster than my Arbiter. Why is that? Well, if you look at the base speed, Golden Reaper has a base speed over here of 111, and Arbiter has a base speed of 110. So I take all the same gear, assuming the banner is the same that I can get on the other one, and throw all of that gear onto Golden Reaper, she would be faster. Now, you could very easily put Arbiter still in the lead spot, put Golden Reaper in number two, and then your defense down a nuker. So the fastest person becomes Golden Reaper. She boosts, does the speed buff. Then Arbiter goes. She boosts, puts the increase attack up. Then you do the defense down. And then, of course, you nuke with your nuker. But the reason that I got outran was not that one speed. The reason that I got outran was because of Faction Guardians. Now, of course, we all know that ever since the dupe system came in, that once you fill up your Faction Guardians, you can get additional speed boosts, right? So everybody is out there actually chasing dupes now for whatever reason, right? And once you get all of your slots filled up here, like in High Elves, you could get an additional 10 speed onto Arbiter in theory or whoever else you want to use in here, right? So that's going to take my 377 Arbiter up to 387. But to get 10 dupe legendaries is really difficult in the same faction. As a matter of fact, I only have two of my entire factions filled at this point. So it's not the easiest thing to do. I'm one dupe away. Hopefully I'll get it. But 
we're still sitting on it, right? But the reason that you would have Golden Reaper be faster is because if you think about it, yes, this is really hard to fill up, but epics are not difficult to fill up. So if we go down here to Night Revenant, where Golden Reaper would be at, we're getting six additional speed once we fill up this Faction Guardian. So you're getting one additional speed because the base speed on Golden Reaper is faster, plus you're getting an additional six speed from the Faction Guardians. Now, of course, this only works if your High Elves is not full already because that's going to automatically make it faster. But I would bet the large majority of players out there don't have their Faction Guardians full in High Elves. So this is a way for you to get someone to run even faster than Arbiter. You know, one, even one speed in high-end arena would make a huge difference. Much less if you're taking all of Arbiter's gear and putting it on Golden Reaper, you're getting one additional base speed plus the six from Faction Guardians. That's seven additional speed. That is massive. That is more than one additional roll on a piece of gear. That's like better than taking a double roll six star into a triple roll six star. And we already know how rare those can be. So this is a winning strategy for you to get additional speed anywhere in arena. It doesn't have to just be high end arena. You could be mid game and fill up your night rev faction guardians. Granted, it's not super easy to fill these up, but it's also not nearly as hard as it's going to be to fill up legendary faction guardians. So why not try it out? Take literally all of the same gear that you have on your Arbiter now. Put it on your Golden Reaper. Make sure your Faction Guardians are full. And you're going to automatically come up with more speed. Now, like I said, granted, this is assuming that you can get the same banner or whatnot. But keep in mind, Golden Reaper, all you care about is her speed. So it doesn't matter what kind of banner you put on her. Like, for example, some things matter. Lady Kimmy, if you're running her as your speed lead, you really want her to have an accuracy banner because of what she does, right? But with Golden Reaper, you're just looking to make her the fastest champion that you possibly can. So if I go to my Golden Reaper, right now I'm using her with a slower banner because I don't use her in that lead spot. But if I look and find, let's say I want to go find a banner with a speed substat on it, I don't care what the main stat is because, yes, she has things that she can do here, right? Like, she can decrease cooldowns. She can land a decrease attack, but I don't care about that. I just want her to be fast. So, I don't really care that the only banner I have that's a triple roll on here, sadly, is an attack banner. Would it make sense for me to take all of my gear that's on Arbiter right now, slap it onto Golden Reaper, and run her faster? Yeah, maybe, because I'm running Kaimar in my lead spot already, so it's not that I I could actually do without her. I could just run Golden Reaper as fastest, Kaimar is second, he sleeps them all, and then the rest of my champions don't really matter. So... If you're struggling for speed in the arena, sometimes you got to get a little bit creative. This is a creative way to, in order to get yourself some additional speed in the arena. So if you find that you're getting outrun, try this out. It doesn't matter. You could take the fastest gear that you have and put it on Golden Reaper and just have her be faster because you're able to fill up those faction guardians. Maybe you don't even have Arbiter. Golden Reaper could still be faster for you. Yes, I realize she is a void epic, which makes her a little bit harder to get, but it's a lot easier than trying to get 10 dupes of a legendary epic. But guys, I just wanted to make sure that I got this information out there. I was super surprised the other day when I got outrun in arena by a Golden Reaper. And then lo and behold, like two days later, the same thing happened again. And it took me a little bit of time to figure out how did someone get a Golden Reaper to go faster than my Arbiter? But it makes sense. If they can get seven additional speed right off the rip, yeah, you know what? Maybe their gear's inferior. Maybe they're technically four speeds slower than me. But once they take everything and slap it onto Golden Reaper, boom, suddenly they're faster and you can be too. So this is a way that you can win the speed race. 
But guys, that's about all I have for this today. Let me know in the comments down below, have you guys come up with any other tricky ways to maybe find other champions that you can put additional speed on that make sense or what have you? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you are still struggling on how to make an arena team, be sure to check out this video right here where I break down how you can build out an arena team to outrun your opponents and be effective even if you don't have the best champions or the best gear.